Alright, let me explain what we're doing in this test. Here we have a non-conductive ferrite ring magnet out of a speaker and uh, by non-conductive we mean it won't carry current. So, uh, as you can see we have our little buzzer set and no matter where we touch it on this ring magnet it is open because it is non-conductive I have a piece of thick um, insulated magnet wire or laminated copper wire whatever you want to call it wrapped around the magnet in one full loop and joined at the ends um, and just to show you once again nothing non-conductive magnetic yes but non-conductive so our ring is totally isolated from a non-conductive magnet uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to plonk this in the water and we're going to see which way the bubbles curl coming off of the copper wire and remember insulated from a non-conductive magnet what I have here is another ring that I've made and I've just taken, this is heavy laminated um, copper wire and all I've done is taking, taken or scraped the laminate off from inside the ring the outside laminate is still on that will be uh, sitting inside the magnet like that now a speaker magnet, I've already marked south on there we will have another look at it anyway, if I can get it to stand up. Alright, so we grab our compass and we'll see we have north that side and of course as we go around we have south on the other side and yada yada yada. So I'm, all, I'm all sure you all know that one flat side is north, the other flat side is south in the centre where the wire is of course is the midpoint of the two fields as is on the inside top half will be south, bottom half will be north so we're going to plonk this in the tank um, we just have a bit of stainless steel mesh as our anode positive side and this ring around our magnet is our cathode so we're going to have a look at the direction of spin well, the, yeah, the direction of spin looking on the outside of the magnet from the bubbles formed here and then we will be swapping over the uh, negative side to the inside ring and we will once again have a look at the spin now, theoretically it should be the same but let's have a look anyway so I'll go ahead and get that set up and I'll be back Alright, so we're ready to go. First we're going to be having a look at the outside ring. So I'm going to switch on the power and straight away you can see that we have a clockwise rotation. And remember, we're always looking from on top of the magnet down. So clear clockwise rotation. as can be seen I'm sure that's very clear so with our insulated magnet wire on our non-conductive ferrite magnet we get a clockwise spin the top of the magnet is the south as we've seen with the compass and the polarity of our conductor around the magnet is negative. Of course our anode in the background there is our positive. And that gives us a clockwise spin if we're looking from the top down. 
So all I'm going to do now, I'm not even going to switch off the power supply, I'm going to just take a negative jumper wire off of there and try and do this one handed. I'm going to hook it on the ring that is in the middle, the copper ring. Now we haven't changed the polarity of the magnet or anything, but as you can see there we clearly have a counterclockwise spin. Now our magnet has not been flipped, still south on top, and our polarity has also not been changed so the polarity remains the same the magnetic field remains the same um, but the spin is in the opposite direction as can clearly be seen there so once again take our negative wire off of here and this is awfully hard one handed. Put the camera down. Try and keep it on the job so you know there's no shenanigans going on here. So north on the bottom, south on the top, and we get our clockwise spin direction. And without changing the polarity. Anywhere, you simply swap from the outer ring to the inner ring, and we can clearly see an anti clockwise spin. So, um, to switch that off, pull our ring out here, take our magnet out. Like so, I'll just give it a little dry so we can draw some pictures on the magnet. Okay, so we have our the camera switched itself off again, and I think I worked out why when I get too close to a magnet, the camera switches off. So, um Going to have to be careful with that. So there you go, magnetic field can switch off my camera. Alright, so with the outer ring going, we're clearly seeing a spin that was in that direction. And if we go around, what we'll do is we'll just turn the magnet around. We've clearly seen that the magnet had a counterclockwise spin, which would be in that direction. So how can it spin one way on the outside and the other way on the inside, with the electrical polarity being the same, the magnetic field polarity being the same? How does that happen? Uh, so that spin was in that direction, this spin here was in that direction, so maybe it is something like this. What do you think guys? I think uh, that is a very reasonable explanation. There must be a spin on each face or each pole as we call them of a magnet. That is the only way I can see that that happens. And um, this may be just exactly what TA was talking about a little um, idler gear if you like on each pole of the magnet and of course if we turn it over that spin is going to be in the opposite direction on the north side face to get the same 
effect. So an anti-clockwise spin on the inside, a clockwise spin on the outside, and the only way I see you can get that if there's a spin on the face of the magnet. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching that little experiment. Um, this may be the one that clearly shows it best of all. So remember once again we're using a ferrite magnet that does not conduct and we also have insulated rings on the outside and the inside of the magnet. So um, it is the magnetic field itself that is causing the spin because we could of course just put our ring in the fish tank like this and hook it up switch it on and I'm sure you all know the only thing we're going to get is bubbles going straight up like you see there absolutely zero spin so no spin without the magnetic field once again on the outside of the magnet bottom half north top half south we get a clockwise spin on the inside of the magnet where the fields are still exactly the same as the outside we get a counterclockwise spin so uh, interesting stuff get close to the magnet again and I switch my camera off but uh, anyway interesting stuff uh, it's really starting to look like there is indeed a spin on each pole of the magnet thanks for watching guys I've got to go and put all this together now so in, um, let's stop my camera let's have a zoom in the magnet and see what happens see you again next time